Good morning, and this is entry number three. All right, friends, it is a little after nine o'clock. I actually have a really busy day today, but I have errands I have to run first thing today before some other big things, and then I'll probably catch up with you guys later, um, early evening-ish. But I'm going to run some errands, and I have a dress coat on, but rocking some navy joggers, some Nikes, a t-shirt. I have really good necklaces on, I'll link them. This cheetah is inspired by Glennon Doyle's book, Untamed, and then this little circle necklace I really like. I'll see if I can find it. Other accessories are just a Cardi Trio ring, my Aura ring, and then just a collection of uh, gold bands. I want to take my scarf in case it's too cold out, and then we'll hit the road. I want to make a broccoli soup that I saw on Martha Stewart's Instagram yesterday, so I have my list of ingredients. Let's go get that done. I also have a return from Amazon. I tried to buy Mabel some bows for her hair on top of her head, but these were like barrettes and they won't stay. So if you have recommendations for a bow that will stay in her hair, let us know. Also, you guys are loving this format and so am I. And I love that I feel zero pressure with it, um, but I also just have like loved connecting some of us have connected so much over on Instagram that it's been so uplifting, um, but the comment section has just been everything. So I'm glad you guys are loving it, but we got to get moving. So here we go. I am back from Target and Trader Joe's and I came home to an order. I had this wrapping paper delivered from Rifle Paper Company. I just wasn't loving the mushrooms that I used to cover my Hobonichi, so I grabbed this. I thought this could be really cool. I love the color. It just wasn't vibrant enough. I think I have a vision of what I want. And then I got a set of their planner stickers. Their wrapping paper is so good. I will leave these things linked. And then they had all of their mugs on sale for like a ridiculous amount. Like they're normally like $20 and they were like 10. Got this mug that says you got this. Just thought it was super, Cute and inspiring. All right, I got everything that I need. Oh, while we're talking about planners, what I wanna do in my journal is to be able to show some pictures. So I've been looking for a good smartphone printer and this one is really highly rated by Polaroid. The photos are two by three and then they're stickers. So you're able to like peel and stick them into your planner. That way it can like really document. And I think I'll use my Hobonichi more. I am using my big oval La Crusade. You also know I'm 100% using my chopper. Best thing. I've recommended it 5,400 times. While I am prepping these shallots, how many of you watched Salt Lake City last night? Um, I think that was one of the most dramatic finales of any franchise. I thought, I'm not gonna give any spoilers, but it was insane. And what I will say is, if I, I posted this on Instagram, if I have to pick one housewife to go in the foxhole with me, it is going to be Heather Gay all day long. She showed up for the finale, but I was, gobsmacked. It was wild. Someone messaged me and they're like, did you see it? And I was like, I am still processing it. If you did watch the finale, I don't want you to put any spoilers down below, but I do want you to write like the one word that like you felt in that moment. I was gobsmacked. Let's get some oil going. Mm. 
and I'm gonna get these shallots tossed in. I need to turn this heat down a little bit. So I'm just going to do my shallots until they are all translucent. Just as you would for the start of any soup base. And I will link Martha's, Martha Stewart's recipe below. I'm adding one eighth teaspoon of nutmeg. Martha will be mad. I don't have fresh nutmeg, so we're going to have to go with that. All right, and now we are adding four cups of chicken stock, one and a half cups of water, third cup of oats, rolled oats, one and a half pounds of broccoli, I'm supposed to bring to a boil and then simmer five to 10 minutes. All right, quick update. I wanna make sure I get this as creamy as possible, so I did add three small butter potatoes that I had in my pantry that I needed to use anyway, so I threw those in here. Not loving the color, I was almost thinking of throwing a handful of spinach in just to make it a little bit greener. I have about a half an hour while that goes, so I'm gonna get my workout in because I feel good and I have time, and then I can get cleaned up, get ready, and still get everything else done that I need to get done today. All right, I just pureed it, it is silky smooth. The immersion blender was the way to go, not batches in a blender. If you have an immersion blender, go with it. I'm going to add just a little bit of cheddar cheese now that it's off the heat. And I'm just gonna stir that in as well. All right, and then I'm gonna cover this and then I will throw it back on the heat for dinner. But soup always tastes better. Oh, you guys are all steamed up. Always tastes better um, once it's sat a while. So dinner is prepped, I'll cook some bread, workout is done, I gotta get ready and I gotta go. So next time I see you, it'll be this evening. Yeah, I had a really, really good day but it is now about 4.30. And I wanted to show you, I did switch out the paper in here. I am gonna style this side, but I am so much happier with that print. I'll go with these stickers really well too that I bought. What are some simple things you can do to be more productive? I honestly cannot wait to read all of your comments and suggestions in the comment box, but I'm thinking about three things that I can do to be more productive every day. I already wake up early, so there is no waking up even earlier for me on the agenda, but I'm trying to think of three really clear things that I could do. I think one thing that I need to do is tasks that I do every week, I need to start timing them to give them realistic timestamps when I'm planning out my day. That's both on the professional side and like personal life things. Like how long does it actually take me to do something? I find that sometimes I really overestimate or really underestimate how long a task takes me. And I think I can utilize my time and probably prioritize my time better if I time those weekly tasks that I always end up doing and know how much time to actually allot them in my planner because it either gets me off schedule or ahead of schedule and then I waste time. So that's one thing that I'm thinking about. Two goes back to prioritizing. I think in order for me to feel more productive, I have to narrow down my day to like, what are the three to four non-negotiables for today? Like no matter what, these three or four things have to get done and everything else is a nice to have. I think it'll help me be more productive, but also productive in a prioritized way where I'm tackling the things that are most important. I am the type of person who likes to get like the thing that they dislike the most out of the way. However, sometimes the thing that I dislike the most is not the top priority, but I just like to get it out of the way because I perseverate on having to do it all day long. And it 
impedes my productivity. So I think like actually looking at my priorities and whether it's like something I really enjoy or something I don't enjoy, like what actually has to get done and prioritize over importance versus I don't like doing this thing versus I like doing this thing. I just am definitely one of those people who want to get the thing that I don't like the most out of the way the quickest. Um, but that might not always just be the priority. It's just not the thing that I'm looking forward to and I'll be thinking about it. Are you a person who does the thing that you enjoy first or the thing that like is looming that you don't enjoy, even though it might not be the most important? Very curious. So prioritizing um, based off of importance and not like like or dislike for the task, I think is really great in knowing that there are three to four things that have to get done and then the rest are nice to haves. I think the other third thing I can do to be more productive, and it's not something I'm doing a great job of currently in my planning process, is to evaluate my tasks for the day and really pivot and move them into the next day in a thoughtful manner. Usually I just add them to the list instead of actually planning out where they could go. Like where I didn't get X, Y, and Z done. So where does X, Y, and Z actually fit in my day instead of just being added to the list? I think if I'm able to assign it, it will feel less overwhelming and less like added to my list versus like I have a designated time to complete this task from yesterday that I wasn't able to get done. I think I just move them over, but I don't schedule like when I'm actually going to do it. And I need to be thoughtful in my like next day's planning. And I think those are the three things that I would do to be more productive. I can't wait to hear from you what are the three things you could do to be more productive? And I think this comment section is going to be so powerful for all of us. Today has been a really good day. <clears throat> um, it's now about, it's, it's now going on about five o'clock. I got my workout in. I made a really good dinner for us this evening that's healthy with lots of vegetables in it. I, I, did a little bit of planning, which don't worry. Some of these videos, I'm going to show you some of my planning, especially now that I've just named three things I'm going to do to be more productive. And yeah, it was an overall good day. I uh, didn't eat real meals today, which has kind of backfired because I found myself being more snacky today. So I think I knew today was going to be busy. I had something like that kind of preoccupied my mind today. Um, and some of my time. So I just didn't prioritize like actually sitting down and having meals. So therefore I stacked more, which hasn't like made me feel great about my eating habits today. But guess what? It's a-okay. Life is fine. And you do better tomorrow. I still moved my body today. I still got, I still was productive today. And guess what? that's enough. It is small, incremental, and consistent changes that yield the long run. And what we're going to do is we're gonna play the long game, my friends. No more of this short distance running that doesn't yield anything down the road. We are going to play the long game and stay consistent. So I was a little snacky today, so I'll keep my dinner a little bit lighter and use it as like a bank account. <laughs> but, it was a good, good day. I hope all of you had a good day. I'm thinking, what am I grateful for today? I am grateful for this week off when so many others had to go back to work. I have time to like build some habits, hang out with the dogs, get the house all in order, recover from our trip. I am grateful that I am feeling good enough to sing I've been able to like sing at the top of my lungs. The worst part of being sick in December is I couldn't sing Christmas songs at the top of my lungs. And what is the third thing I'm grateful for? It was a good day. And I am grateful, lastly, for all of you and that you guys are loving this format and that we're just kind of having fun. I'm gonna try to find that soup recipe and link it. I'm pretty sure I talked through it pretty well that you would be able to follow it and make it. It was so simple. It was so simple to make. I will link my chopper and my immersion blender because that immersion blender, I don't use it often, but every time I use it, I'm like, wow, this thing really, really works. I can't believe how like smooth it got the soup and then you didn't have to batch it in the blender, which just made it for such an easier process. But yeah, um, it was a good day. Tomorrow, I don't know what's on the agenda. Oh, I know. 
We are really going to talk about Pivolve because this is my second day doing it and I'm really enjoying it, but I wanna talk you guys through it and show you a little bit more um, in detail around my thoughts and just like my enjoyment of it and maybe even show you a little bit of the app and how it works. But yeah, we'll see. I also, um, also tomorrow, maybe I'll do like a Thursday, Friday, just to see how the two days in one video fills. But other than that, I will see you soon. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.